Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter where well, we're going to talk about control plans, proper control plans. Okay, so that's the subject of today's video. We're going to have a look at control plans. And of course, what is your control plan trying to do? Well, basically, you're trying to get your CPK, your process capability, to be under control, to be in a good place, whatever it happens to be. That's what we're trying to do. We want to get your process capability right. So we're going to take a look at a control plan. We're going to take a look at a proper control plan, not an inspection plan. So let's go back to the basics. Everything, of course, is a process. So you've got your process. What do we want to do? Well, as always, you're trying to make money. We've got inputs. to the process and we've got outputs things that the customer is interested in tolerances specifications could be cost um, could be strength all sorts of different features that the product is trying to achieve to keep your customer happy so we've got inputs Got outputs. Now I have to say, lots, lots of control plans get obsessed with the output and what they decide to do is to measure it. Or check it. Now that is not a control plan, that is an inspection plan and it also shows no confidence, let's get a better pen than that, it also shows no confidence in your process. What you're basically saying is I've set my process up, I haven't got a clue whether it's going to work and because I haven't got a clue whether it's going to work, what am I going to do? I'm going to measure it or check it. And all this, this does over here, of course, is it grades. It grades the output. Good ones, bad ones. Rework, remake, repair. And that's all it does. It just grades the output. That's not a control plan. It's an inspection plan. A true control plan works over here and it works on the variables, the inputs, and it identifies individual variables, single things. So it could be settings on the machine, it could be sp the speed of the machine, it could be the flow setting of a liquid through the machine could be a temperature so it could be settings it could also be maintenance routines so it could be things like the filter cleaning routine how often do we do it to what standard do we do it it could be about the, the maintenance of the machine so could be I don't know let's have a think here uh, you know, we're gonna 
we're going to check the, the, the hydraulic the hydraulic oil maybe change it once a year something like that yeah so the the oil change routine but they're individual very specific variables and then what a control plan does it specifies the rule and it locks them down so the rule could be I don't know the speed going to be 20 meters per second the flow is going to be five five liters per minute temperature 40 degrees filter cleaning Mondays 3 p.m. nice and specific oil change I don't know Jan 10 yearly that sort of thing and that is a control plan because if I adhere to those five things I only put five things in theory of course there would be hundreds of these but if you adhere to those five things those outputs work that's a control plan what a control plan does it doesn't measure it or check it what it does is it guarantees it it guarantees the output that's a true control plan it shows process knowledge you understand your process so well that if you fix those five things all your customers will be happy that's control now you have the process under control now of course what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make this flow out of your FMEA process that's what an FMEA is for it's to create the initial control plan if you used your FMEAs properly that's exactly what they do they would also of course guarantee the process capability so this should flow out of your it should flow out of your FMEA what would also be linked to this well of course now you've got fantastic variable control you've got variable control that what does it do it makes piles and piles of cash that's what it's designed to do what's the next thing you should do well you should plug in ISO 9000 into this thing so your ISO 9000 audit what should it check it should check the control plan that's come out of your FMEA if your ISO 9000 audit make sure that you adhere to those rules in all of your processes what's your ISO 9000 audit doing it makes money because that's what ISO 9000 is supposed to do it's not supposed to put a certificate on the wall to impress your customers that is a pathetic thing to do come on wake up this will make piles of cash if you link it to the inputs which have fallen out the FMEA which guarantee the outputs that is how you create a proper control plan now what document you use for this how you structure it how you want to how you want to provide information that's totally up to you to be honest I you know keep it simple just name the process name the important inputs and just come up with the rules and then make sure that you attach the ISO 9000 audit to the rules and all of those things FMEA control plan ISO 9000 they make money that's what they're supposed to do they are not supposed to bury you in paperwork if this and this and the control plan is not about inputs it's not about making money just bury you in paperwork and you'll never do it properly you'll just end up when the ISO 9000 man is due you'll end up tidying up all your paperwork and hiding all the errors and all the problems that you've got so that the auditor never finds them I'm sure you never do that but it's a complete waste of money if you're a senior manager watching this don't be so pathetic get your ISO 9000 to make money 
create great control plans out of your FMEA and make piles and piles of cash because that's what control plans are about. If you've got any comments about this video, please leave them in the uh, appropriate space uh, below this video. That would be fantastic. You could also, if you want to know more, buy my book, Drink Tea and Read the Paper. But if you do nothing else, folks, please come up with a great control plan that makes piles and piles of money.